you know, it's like renunciation, you know, in the Tibetan Buddhism say, Tap Shiram Ngejung. So Ngejung is the renunciation. But renunciation does not mean, oh, you know, I love coffee, but I need to be enlightened, so coffee's bad for me, so I'm going to give up coffee. <laughs> and then you're suffering, oh, every day, oh, I want coffee, no, no, no. I have... So you're suffering, and then you're actually creating some kind of negative imprint of, of pain and... and, and, and <laughs> you speak his language. <laughs> Everybody can understand. <laughs> so that's not really a renunciation. It's it's you're 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 working against the actual actual kind of it's counterproductive. Because you're getting frustrated, you're getting unhappy. It's not about that, it's about understanding the reality of the coffee and understanding the reality of your mind and checking your mind and analyzing the attachment to the coffee and how the coffee, the process of the coffee and all of those aspects. And then you drink the coffee and you're like, ah, I'm, I, it's, it's okay, it's nice, I enjoy it, it gives me a good boost, but I'm not attached to it, I'm not grasping it because I understand the reality of its changing nature. All the time. Why is music so interesting? Because it's a mathematical equation dividing time which represents change. Mm -hmm. And what is change? Vibration. That's it. 